So Greg, what do you think of the comma? He's good, but kind of a missed opportunity. Why's that? Well, not really. I still wrote my favorite book with him. It's just we got to explore the dramatic backstory of this wise elder archetype and the Miramax guys thought it was such a good idea to make him a bad guy in 2005. Mata would have been much better, you know? Well, the framing of Bakama's betrayal made sense. With all six Toa infected with an animal side that's taking them over, it worked well enough that the always questioned leader of Akama would be tempted with Rudaka's promise of power through fear. Not sure how Matau betraying would make sense considering as soon as he became a Hordika, his number one priority was finding a way to change back due to his vanity, which Norik promised the six of them through the legend of Kitangu. Yeah, I don't know about that. I made it work with the planting of evidence that Wikon never meant to give him and the other Metro their Toa Stones. It's a much better motivation. Oh, I, I mean, I guess that sort of works too. Was that in the favorite book you wrote? Oh, no, no, no. My favorite book is Time Trap, where Vakama throws off all lessons of unity he learned before by ditching his team so he can get the Vahi all by himself and then team up with Makuta in the process. Wait. So you think it's not in Vakama's character to betray his friends under any circumstances, but you do think it's in his character to work with Makuta, the ultimate evil being who single-handedly killed his mentor Likon right in front of him? Well, of course. They did need to get the Mask of Time. Oh yeah, can't argue with that. Well, Greg, the Bionicle, uh, master, he inspired the story. Makuta's Hearthstone. I've unwittingly freed him by destroying it. But I'm not scared of him anymore. In fact, we should team up sometime.